Hello, everybody, and welcome to a Sunday edition of the Corporate Gamer Broadcast. I am your host, Corporate Gamer, and tonight, or this afternoon for that matter, we are playing something brand new. Um, I know it's Sunday and normally it's Retro Night in Canada, but this is the matinee edition, so I wanted to start something brand new. And uh, what I've decided to play, as you see on screen, is... Greedfall, which from what I've seen seems to be a combination between um, seems to be a combination between Witcher meets Assassin's Creed type of thing. So it's like a, a period piece similar to Assassin's Creed, where you're in a certain time period. However, you're dealing with monsters and stuff like that. So it's kind of like a Witcher three. So from what I understood from the reviews that had come out initially, um, it seems to be a poor man's version of that. Uh, but it seems to, you know, it's it's not from a, a, a first grade developer. It's from Spider, which is um, it's it's a little bit more of an obscure uh, game. And they've done other stuff as well, like the Techno Ram, uh, Techno Romancer, Technomancer, something along those lines. Um, and each of their games seem to have fallen. Um, on the wayside except this one seems to be the one that that's been the most not necessarily polished but the most the best one out of the bunch and um, I wanted to try it out to see how it works so um, let's try it so it's the first time I'm actually running the game itself so let's see how that goes from the pictures that I saw it looks absolutely gorgeous I have to say that it looks really really good a game by spiders it's a bunch of spiders lots of typing oh wait There we go. I was having no sound. Um, bright setting. Clearly visible. Confirm brightness. Yeah, sure. New game. What are the options? Game controls. Game menu. Map to hold. Fury. Open tactical pause. Move stealth stance. Okay. Advanced shortcuts hold. Switch weapons. Put weapon away. Attack. Secondary attack. Cancel parry. And confirm dodge sprint hold. And camera lock on. Okay. Seems to be pretty standard. Um, yeah, that's fine. Game. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, audio. Music seems really good though. I have to admit, it sounds pretty damn impressive. Wait, uh, it doesn't keep... Music. So how do you save and quit a... All right. Let's do a new game. I'm gonna go on easy only because uh, I wanna figure out what the game is. Companions are stronger and enemies are weaker and less aggressive in this mode. It is perfect for players who wish to experience the adventure without spending too much time on strategy or crafting. That sounds about me. That sounds right. Hey! Indeed! And the advantage they have is they have a lot of fingers. So they can get one of those games out really quickly. How you doing, kind sir? I saw that you were, uh, you... You continued streaming after I left. Stand a little taller, just a tad. Like this. Yes, yes. 
the chin a tiny bit lower. Gaze a little more to the right. There. Now, hold the pose. Strike the pose. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing Amen. Um, yeah, I saw you were doing F0 because um, I, I, I left for a while and then I came back because I couldn't fall asleep. I was like, oh, he's still on. And then you got like that massive raid or host like right at the end of the game, which is always a, a bummer. Like it's happened to me a few times where I got like 40, 40 people coming to my stream and I'm like, uh, I'm kind of done. That does, definitely does not look like me. Okay, well, we'll stick to this. Uh, here. This looks so 90s. I don't know why you would have that kind of... Ooh, that looks like me. That definitely looks like me, because I'm bald. Let's see. Doesn't give you much in terms of goatees, but... I'll go for this. Eyebrows... I guess are fine. Skin color is fine. Hair color is fine. Ice color. Let's go for blue. There we go. Uh, how do you reset? Next step. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, starting classes, warrior, technical, or magic? Warrior, this profile focuses on melee combat. Starting skills, one-handed heavy weapons, one-handed blades, firearms. Recommended attributes, strength and endurance. Recommended talents, craftsmanship and vigor. Technical focuses on controlling the battlefield. Starting skills are set in elemental trap, firearms, and one-handed blades. Yeah, I know. Um, and even this one, it has firearms for whatever reason. Which Recommended attributes, accuracy, agility. And by the way, I'm not... The, the reviews for this were quite mixed um, when it came out in September. Um, a lot of people enjoyed it, but there's a lot of downfall to it. So it's, the way I described it uh, just before you came on, it's basically... From the period piece side of things, it looks very much like Assassin's Creed, but it has monsters similar to Witcher 3. So from from my understanding, it seems to be like um, a poor man's version of those games mashed, mashed together. Um, and yes, normally these games, however, this is probably their best game out of the, out of the whole bunch. Um, I think... Technomancer, Techno, Techmomancer, something along those lines. Um, that was them. Um, again, it's one of those games that fell short. Apparently, this one has technical issues, but from a story perspective, um, yeah, it's actually um, it's free if you have Game Pass, and I think it's on also on PC if you have the Ultimate, uh, Xbox Ultimate. I didn't really try it. I didn't really care for it. Um, it didn't interest me in any way. So. This one is more along the lines of what I like to do in terms of a game. Um, it's story driven. Um, it's kind of an RPG light. Um, it takes a while. I, w I was looking for something to hold me over uh, till the next thing comes out. And I want to play something slightly different than what I've been playing. Uh, last few streams, I streamed uh, Neo Chrome, Neon Chrome, sorry, uh, which was fun. But I kind of got like. I finished level three, like the, the whole level, and then I lost at the boss and I had to go all the way back. And I was like, eh. <laughs> and I didn't, feel, I didn't feel like going back right now. So, and tonight, if you're, I know you're probably going to be streaming tonight, but um, tonight, what I'm planning on pl streaming for my Retro Night in Canada is, um, yeah, it's actually really fun. It's a fun game. Um, I like it because it's more of a, it's a sh shoot 'em up. Um, but it has strategy to it. If you go in guns a blazing, you're going to screw up. But if you take your, your time and you, you evaluate the layout and stuff like that, um, it's actually really cool. And it, whatever you upgrade really makes an impact. It's, it's actually pretty fun. 
I, I'm, I had enjoyed it. I just wanted something different uh, to, to play this. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely going to go back to it. Um, I actually do want to finish that game. Um, but um, yeah, so back to tonight. Um, so we were, I was asking you yesterday if you were planning on playing Duke, Duke Nukem 3D. I think I had streamed it a while back. I don't remember. I remember playing it a few years back, but I don't remember. I think it's at the time where I didn't save my highlights. So having said that, um, I'm going to be playing the 20th anniversary edition, uh, but the extra level, the extra episode that comes with specifically that, that one. So it's episode five, I think. I forget the name of it. Uh, but it was specifically written for that 20th anniversary. Um, so I want to play that through. Um, I never played it through. I suck at it. Um, from all the games that are shoot 'em ups from, you know, from Quake, Doom, Duke Nukem is probably the one that I have the most trouble finding the secrets. Um, and I usually am iffy on it. But I do like the lore of it and I do enjoy it. So, yeah. It had four. Um, there were a few other episodes that came out. So you had like um, uh, uh, Manhattan, Made in Manhattan or something along those lines. Like there were like expansion packs that came out later. However, a few years ago, they came out with the 20th anniversary, I think on PC and on consoles as well. And it came out with, and it's the, the, uh, the episode that came out, the extra episode is from the original creators of the game. Uh, they actually built that episode. Similar to how Romero built the new episodes for Doom uh, recently. Similar idea. Um, and But it's rare that you see that that episode streamed very often. Um, so that's why I want to do it. I don't want to do the full game because I don't want to spend months on or like just trying to get through an episode. Um, and especially I'm not that great at it. I just want to give a, a look and feel of how it is. So... Ah... <coughs> uh, I went in the wrong hole. <coughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Um, I, I know it was a special edition that came out specifically for that. For that <clears throat> but I don't remember. There were other packages that came out with 3D or 3, 3D Realms coming out. With, like, it was a package that came out. Like, you had... Um, a bunch of associated games that came out with with do uh, with uh, 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 yeah yeah so Manhattan Project is was an expansion pack and that came out a few years later its release I think and I think there was another expansion pack I may be wrong on that there was another expansion pack and. That came out like relatively after. Then it died. It was dormant for years on the build engine, and um, and I was actually thinking of playing some games that were made on the built engine, but but people don't necessarily know. So they know that you know the built engine uh, created you know Duke Nukem, uh, and there's and but there's a whole other side of games that were created on that engine that people kind of forget. So I was thinking of maybe playing those, like the first first game that came out on the engine, which is like super stupid. I don't even know if I think it's a free download if you look on the internet. I don't even remember the name of it. I just remember the look of it. It looks very cartoony. Um, it looks similar to Wolfenstein. Um, and. Um, like the way the layout is kind of done, but it's 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 really stupid game. But I wanted to stream it just to have a record of it and have a highlight of it. All right, so, uh, so technical recommended attributes: accuracy, agility, recommended talents, uh, science, and lock picking. Okay, and magic: this use of offensive spells from a distance. Starting skills: divine magic ring stasis. Stasis. I don't know why I said stasis. Uh, One-handed heavy weapons. Recommended attributes. Mental power and willpower. Two things that I do not have naturally. Recommended talents. Science and intuition. Uh, let's go for a warrior. Fuck that shit. Alright. Remaining points. I have one. 
Increases the power of all melee attacks. Attribute required to wield the best one-handed two-handed one cone. Okay. Well, I guess I would need that since I am going to be... Yeah, the version of the end in the collection is for episode version. Shadow Warrior and Blood are the ones I know. Yeah, so uh, I think it's it. I think the first one was Blood, if I remember correctly. Yeah, again, this is not a perfect game <laughs> by any means, but I mean, um, all right. So agility level one increases fury generation, all damage inflicted in melee combat. Attribute required to wield the best one-handed, two-handed swords. Mental power, willpower, accuracy, and endurance. So it's one of these two. Uh, it's one of these two. So, incure fear generation and all damage inflicted in melee combat attribute. Physical damage, 10%. Fury generation, plus one. Stun, 20, plus 20%. 20 armor damage, plus 10%. Let's go for that. All right. Remaining points. Choose the talent in which to invest your starting point to progress. Charisma level, vigor, craftsmanship, intuition, lockpicking, and science. Slightly reduces merchants' prices and slightly improves your companion's combo combat abilities. Slightly increases the chance of success at some dialogue choices. Prerequisite, one point. Let's you pass through certain difficult passages that require balance. Increases the maximum ammo capacity and lets you slightly recover HP and magic outside of combat. Allows you to craft basic weapon and armor upgrades. Well, that seems to be useful. I don't know why that would be like a starting part. Like you should be able to craft at least the basic shit. Um, that seems a little bit off. Gathering sites become easier to see. Slightly increase the number of ingredients and objects obtained through gathering and looting. Unlock contextual dialogue options. Let's you pick simple locks. Enemy traps are easier to see. Um, I get the feeling that this is not going to be useful out of the gate. However, I can see how this one could be useful. So let's start the game. It's so weird. The start game button is not the start. It's the select on the Xbox controller. Do you want to create this character? Well, I hope so. Just a few more minutes. You have such an incredibly singular face. That's a compliment, my lord, out of my mouth. <laughs> Your particularity gives character. You're still here? We've nearly finished. Have you any more need of me, Master? You haven't forgotten that we're setting sail today, have you? Of course not. Your cousin is nowhere to be found. I've searched the palace from cellars to attics. Your uncle is beside himself. He was of a mind to paint the town last night. Don't worry, I shall track him down. Make care to your own preparations without wrinkling another frown. We'll meet you on the boat. It's about time your cousin took account of the responsibilities awaiting him. He should go and inform the ambassadors of Telemi and the Bridge Alliance of his departure. Have no fear, Master. I will go and see them in his name. I beg your pardon, but <coughs> urgent matters call me away. Might we finish all this later? Impossible, my lord. You are leaving with a tide, if what I've been told is correct. I am sorry, sir. Truly, I must be going. <sighs> My lord, please, I beg you! Her Highness has personally requested I finish it! Thank you, cousin, for getting me out of that. Alright, the compass. Uh, visible on top of the center of the screen. Okay, it indicates important places, active missions, objectives. Go and say goodbye to your mother. 53. Okay, meters. Side quest is a round and a star is a whatever. Wow, this looks to be really sensitive. The camera seems to be wonky. Um, control options. What? Camera effects. Okay. Let's see what this does.
I don't know what else that did. Wow, the cameras look... Oh, crap. Okay. This is going to be... Shitty. Uh, sensity. Sensitive. Well, that's a little bit better, actually. Can I talk to any of these? Wow, the, the camera is so fucking wonky. Wow. Oh. So here. I'm sorry. I'm afraid that I won't make for good company. Okay, so I have to go down apparently. <clears throat> the thing about these things is usually there's always I must go to the dispensary. Maybe I will be able to make myself useful there. Can I talk to anybody? Okay, that was useless. You get knocked on the door for no apparent reason. Okay. So the AI is going to be a little bit wonky. Oh boy. Uh. Hey! Green blood! Cut. And so the day has finally come. My royal fledglings are leaving the nest. Accompanied by their most loyal and tenacious master of arms. As loyal as your goal. Oh, enough with the cold mercenary. I know you like us. Hmm. Still hiding your men in the unsuspecting shadows of the greats of this world, I see. Hey, our blades are the only thing keeping you dainties alive. Ha! <laughs> Kurt! I'm not in need of your protection. I'm no longer a child, you know. Is that so? Yeah, all right, tutorial time. Fight with honor. I have no clue what I'm doing, and the camera is fucked up. You've lost health. Assign a potion to our shortcut or use LB button to tactical pause. Okay. Self a competent weapons master. It's becoming a little hard to believe. Don't add insult to injury. This is humiliating enough. We'll need to get you through the basics, or you risk getting your feathers plucked at the first sign of trouble. That could definitely come in handy. In that case, Otto here is going to be your training partner. Go! Fight with honor! Firearms. So basically, there was no way I was ever going to beat that guy. That's nice to know. Firearms are ideal for interrupting or disabling an enemy. Each shot consumes one ammunition. Okay. Uh, bind.
Okay, how am I supposed to end this then? Physical armor level is shown with shields and health bar. Armor absorbs part of the physical damage. To break the enemy's armor, you must use impact weapon or certain traps. Magic attacks ignore armor. Fury is a state that allows you to use special attacks that inflict bonus damage and make enemies lose their balance. A segmented meter that fills up as you attack an enemy, cast a spell, or parry attacks from enemies will allow you to see your fury level. When the meter reaches the first level, a visual effect will appear on your character's hands. Use LT, the left trigger, to use a fury attack. Okay, it It appears we've brushed off on the basics. It does, and I'd like to be on my way. I've quite the list of things to do before we depart. Indeed. Remember that you can always train in our barracks on the island if you're feeling rusty. Are your bags packed for the great departure? Yes, you know I get by with very little. You're not angry that I'm coming with you, I hope. Show him how happy you are that he's coming along. Complain about being shadowed by a bodyguard. By the way, that did not tell me that that section was done. Just putting that out there. At least I didn't see it. On the contrary, I'm thrilled that both you and Sir de Cossillon are joining our party. A few friends at your side in unknown territory is a boon. Ah, so the old goat is coming too. And there I was thinking I would die of boredom on the trip. By the way, where is our future governor hiding? I was hoping to put his skills to the test as well. I have no idea. He had plans to celebrate his departure last night, and we haven't seen him since. You know, Constantine, I should have gone with him, but my heart wasn't in the mood for celebration. The thought of bidding my mother farewell. It is never easy to say goodbye. But you should be going to see her now. She must be waiting for you. I'll meet you in front of the palace. Then we'll go and find Constantine together. Very well. I'll meet you as soon as I've said my goodbyes. Is there anything I can scavenge here? I guess not. Can I go in here? Nope. Can I go in here? I've put this off for as long as I can. I need to make my farewells to my mother. Mother? Have you not been taught to knock? I've asked a thousand times. Oh, it's you, my dear child. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble getting used to your condition. Come now, let's speak of more pleasant things. 
I'm so very happy to hear your voice. You remind me so much of your father. I do miss him so. Today is the big day, isn't it? Ready to set sail for that island everyone's talking about. Yes, but the idea of leaving you behind, alone and ill... Dying, my child. Alas, there is nothing you can do by staying that would ease my suffering. One thing brings me cheer. They say the island is full of miracles, and we might find a cure. Even if I were to find it, I would never be able to return in time to... I know. But it brings me comfort that to know my son has left on a mission to heal his people. Come now. It is time for you to take leave. Here. Take this with you. What is it? A family heirloom. Something that... Take it and keep it with you. May it bring you good luck. All my blessings go with you, my child. Now, be off. Uh, closing the door actually rumbled my Xbox controller. Meet Kurt in front of the palace. Okay, is there anything I can do? Ooh. Okay. Usually in these like introductory introductory places, I always miss like you know the first you know the things that. Oh. Kurt, it's done. Sorry, Green Blood. Look, we can see the masts of the ship that'll be taking us. This is one sacred adventure we're embarking on. I hope this island will keep its promises. In order to know that, we'll need to find Constantine first. You're right. Maybe he's already at the port. He was so eager to leave. This will be quite the chore to finish before our departure. The commander wants to recover some merchandise from our supplier that the transporter doesn't want to deliver. I did all I could to persuade. Nothing came of it. All the parliamenting fatigues me. But this is your domain. I wouldn't say no to a little help. Of course. Where is the supplier? In the lower Boris, near the port. Right then. We'll put it on our list of visits. Team setup. Companions on team. Zero of one. Add to the team. Okay. Confirm team and quit. Green blood. Do you need something? Whether whether he ever felt lonely. I wondered if you ever felt lonely. I always do. Why, do you want to rectify this? Tell him that you thought you were keeping him good company for all these years. Respond without regard. I hope to have kept you good company for all these years. After all, we were always together. And I valued your friendship. But I thought you were referring to another kind of company. And to be honest, you and Constantine aren't exactly <laughs> my type. Anything else? I must leave you. Notify the Bridge Alliance Ambassador about your departure. Okay. Greetings, Your Excellency. I believe I've seen you at the palace. Are you one of the prince's relatives?
Okay, so life isn't destructible. Environments are not destructible. That sucks. Alright. Can't talk. Direct access. Whoops. Uh. Alright. I'm still trying to get used to the... The environment and the... No, that's the... Oh. Okay, so at least I know what to loot, what to look for when looting. So where's that, there's a door there, but, well the camera is going to be a fighting, that's going to be number one, the, f the camera is going to be uh, fighting me the whole fucking time. doesn't do anything. I don't know. Okay. Invisible walls. Oh. It's not even over there. It's over here. Okay. Wow, these buttons are fucked. Okay. Uh, that's not what I wanted at all. Equipment. Okay. Uh, Notify the Bridge Alliance Ambassador about your departure. Notify the Time Ambassador about your departure. Okay. Oh, that's the map. I have to admit, the map looks cool. The map does look good. Um, that's actually really cool. I have to admit. Okay. Mr. de Sarde, brought up at the court of Prince Dorisay and his son, Constantine, you have benefited from the best tutors and masters of arms. Uh, okay, so there's no, I don't know how you scroll, but um, turn page. Oh. What the hell? 
Okay. Okay, brought up at the court of Prince D'Orsay and his son, Constantine, you have benefited from the best tutors and masters of arms, as skilled in combat as in games of the mind. You have also shown early aptitudes for light magic. Your cousin has been more calm and thoughtful than ever, and you have always tried to protect them from annoyances he has the power to attract, which has earned you the, the respect of your uncle and probably the appointment as legate. In other words, the senior diplomat on the island of Tir Fradi. It is with a heavy heart that you will have to leave behind your mother, suffering from the malincur and cl uh, close to death. But the opportunity that is offered to you away from the deadly atmosphere of Serene to accompany your cousin and to discover new shores is one that can be that cannot be that can be refused. Princess de Sorday is the sister of the Prince d'Orsay um, and your mother. She has always shown you a lot of tenderness, which is not common among the congregation no nobility. She unfortunately came down with a malincur some time ago and has been living in isolation since then, her suffering and appearance preventing her from maintaining her role at court. Although she may be very sorry to see you leave Serene and be far from her, she prefers her only child to visit more welcoming shores and seek a cure for her people, rather than stay by her side waiting for her death. Monsieur de Cousillon, you have known Mr. de Cousillon for years. This very cultivated man has taught you and your cousin Constantine history, the workings of politics and the subtleties of diplomacy. You do not know if your uncle has sent him to you in, in the hope that you, he will keep an eye on you, or if you wanted to come himself, driven by the if affection he has for you and his ever-lingering curiosity. After all, you've been hearing all year, you've been hearing for years, I read the wrong line, uh, about this fascinating island and the mis mysteries it contains, which he hopes to shed some light on. Kirk, very, very... Uh, a very good thing, Kurt. You you've known Kurt for ma Kurt for many years. When he became yours and Constantine's weapon master, his childhood was tough, and he had a weapon in his hand as soon as he was old enough to hold one. Although he has obviously suffered suffered from it, he does not seem bitter, just a little cynical, and he shows and your cousin an almost brotherly protective affection. Whoops. Serene. Serene is the biggest city in the merchant congregation and one of the most important port, ports in the continent. It is a very old city that sea trade has become, has long made rich, but it is also the ultimate diplomatic city thanks to the neutrality of the congregation. You find... Oh, there we go. You find everything you can imagine here. People from all over the world come together and its markets are full of, of the most exotic foods. Not erotic, exotic. For over a century, serene splendor radiated, attracting the best artists and philosophers of the time, despite the appearance of the Malachur, or the Malachur. But since a little over 20 years, the deterioration of the congregation's relations with the knots and an aggravated epidemic have drastically reduced its prestige and population. Today, Serene is a, a city that barely survives by clinging desperately to its past splendor. Hawthorn. These red berries are picked from hawthorn bushes, ingredient used mainly in science to create healing potions and resuscitation powders. These berries are found across the areas of the island. Pine resin. Resin taken from pines, ingredient used in science to prepare most alchemical uh, preparations. This ingredient is found mainly in these regions. Vadrad, the Redwoods, Magasvar, the Vale of the Great Battle, Wenchagana, the Singing Waters, and Frazenaygad, Fr uh, uh, the Ancient Woods.
anything here. Oh. Wow, this camera really is reminiscent of... I thought Rise Son of Rome was bad. This is not that great. <laughs> I will admit. Um, ooh. I wish you a good day, Your Excellency. Well, he was already there. That's nice. Good day, Excellency. Sir de Sade, to what do I owe the pleasure? I have come to inform you that my cousin Constantine and I are departing for Tierfordy on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of greater stature. Allow me to congratulate you. Were you not named Legate of the Congregation? You are correct, Excellency. I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. The Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you, and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Really? To be entirely honest with you, I was hoping to solicit your help in a rather delicate matter. Tell me more about it. And perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Very well. A small group of dangerous heretics has found refuge in Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. Heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that. But I'm sure my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The prince would indeed give us his blessing. But it would take time. Far too much time. For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. You're hoping that I'll be able to do something before they make it to an enemy city. If your heretics are planning on boarding a ship, then they must be in the dockyards. I'll look into this and see what I can do. All right, Talim. Could you tell me anything about Taleme? It would be a pleasure. As you already know, our glorious nation is guided by our faith. We follow the teachings of Matthias, our founder and greatest prophet. And give thanks each day to the Luminous for having gifted us magic. The high dignitaries of Teleme are at the same time our spiritual guides, advocates, and grand mages. I've heard say that dissensions have appeared recently in your nation. Ah, you must certainly be speaking about the debates that have divided the Ordo Luminous and the more political orders. The Lord Luminous has an extremely pure vision of our faith and applies the words of our saint very strictly. But other, more open-minded factions exist within our nation. They believe that a less rigid dialectic would attract souls more readily to our faith. But their differences are purely theoretical and do not threaten the cohesion of our nation, I assure you. The relations in the congregation. What's your point of view on the relations between our two nations? As ambassador of Teleme, I can only rejoice at the mention of our commercial treaties. We appreciate as well the welcome that your uncle gave to our missionaries. Thanks to your support, more and more believers wander your lands. The congregation is our most precious ally. To be perfectly honest, we have only two complaints. That heresy is tolerated, and that your treaties with the Bridge Alliance are maintained. Teleme's position on Tier 
Tierfredi. How's Teleme faring on Tierfredi? We built a marvelous city, San Mateus, on the western coast of the island. Did you know that certain historians believe that it might well have been the final resting place of our prophet? Our missionaries there are a multitude. Not a day passes without new islanders joining our sacred faith. Of course, there are certain pockets of resistance. There is talk of a demonic cult. Disgusting creatures. But I am confident that the Ordo Luminous will be able to put an end to these horrors. And we have tremendous hopes that the entire native population will join our ranks. Alright, their, their relations, relations with the Bridge Alliance. How goes the conflict with the Bridge Alliance? Your territory is, alas, the only one that has been spared from the ravages of war on the continent. We fight on every front. Without great success, one must say. But what other choice do we have? These so-called savants not only refuse the light, but are determined in their fight against it. And on Tierfredi? To my knowledge, no one has yet seen any serious fighting. The bridge have succeeded in provoking the natives there, and have their hands full keeping them at bay. Which leaves us greater latitude to settle peacefully and pursue our mission of conversion. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade. All right, so, um, mission. Uh, actually, let's save. Good to actually know that I can save. Um, where are the missions? Find the smuggler, coin. Negotiate with vendor. I don't know why that's an objective, but I guess it's to teach you how to Oh, poops. Really? I have to go all around? God damn it. Yeah, there's no way of going through there. Alright. The merchant is there. Good day, good sir. How might I be of service? You can start by explaining to me why you refused to honor the orders agreed upon with the guard. <laughs> There's been a misunderstanding, sir. Of course we're ready to honor the orders. In fact, I've already had a word with your master at arms. They're asking that we pay again, despite having already paid. It's just that the price has gone up since. I've nothing to do with it. This is inadmissible. If you agree on a sum, you need to honor that agreement. I'm sorry, sir. I'm just an agent. And I'm only obeying orders. Your master has apparently asked you to demand a second payment for this merchandise. That's right. He told me that their attendant seemed to be hiding something when he passed the order. And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end whatever he asked for. I'll be damned. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. Sorry, Captain. It's nothing personal. I'm only following orders. Following orders? Yeah, we hear you. Makes one wonder which one of the two of us is a coin guard. Ask about the other merchants. Why don't we go and solicit other suppliers, Kurt? 
when we've already paid for the merchandise. If these thieves agree to reimburse the original payment, it's what we do immediately. And do know, in the future, we won't be shopping with them. Well, I should think not. This whole story sounds suspicious and stinks of a scandal. You're demanding a second payment, but refuse to reimburse the one that was already made. I'm not the one demanding nor refusing. It's my master. This stubborn fool is pushing me to madness. You understand now why I'm asking for your help? I don't understand what this means though. Why is it red? I don't think you understand who you're dealing with. Perhaps I failed to present myself properly. Lord de Sade, nephew of the Prince d'Orsay and legate of the Congregation of Merchants. During our conversation, you explained to me that your master forced you to commit a crime. That's regrettable. Especially as you will be considered his accomplice in extortion, theft. You know as well as I that the Congregation does not tolerate such illegal activities. But I'm only obeying orders. That is a shame. Well, as orders are the only language you seem to understand, I order you to return the guard the merchandise without delay. Unless you'd rather your master is hung and that you finish your days in prison. I... As you request, my lord. I shall go immediately and ask that these crates be delivered to the attendant. Now that's a wise decision. Thank you. I was beginning to think this would never end. You're certainly honoring your new title. Bravo! The quartermaster must be expecting us. To my help! And death to the others! Who the way? Things are about to get dicey! about the other guy uh yeah okay oh so let's see um Cardinal Atonius. Cardinal Atonius has been Th Telemi's ambas ambassador to Serene for several years. He is a cunning man, versed on the subtleties of politics, but also a man of faith that who has not yet given up the hope of converting the largest city of the congregation to his faith. Although a member of the missionary order, like many ambassadors, he is said to be close enough to the Inquisition and has often been seen collaborating with most extreme defenders of the faith but that's not what i wanted uh... is that what i'm wearing right now oh I can't wear it. Why can't I wear it? Endurance. I need an endurance one in order to win. Are you serious? Uh, all right. Well, that sucks. All right. Well, let's go. Oh, poops. Oh, is this a crafting table? 
Crafting table. Craftsmanship allows you to upgrade your weapons and armor. Science allows you to create potions and traps. You need knowledge to be able to use a crafting table. To obtain it, spend points in the desired talents. Use certain pieces of equipment or companions that can give you a bonus. Each talent point will unlock new recipes. You will also need ingredients, missing a space there, which you can buy or find while exploring. So I'm really sorry if this is really going slow right now. I'm really trying to figure out how the game is playing. Um, it's not as straightforward as other games. Uh, the camera is a little bit wonky. I'm having to get used to the, the buttons and the, the mechanics. So I apologize if this is not going as, as quickly as normal. Uh, I'm trying to... Like, I can't, I can't craft jack shit, can I? No. Because I have nothing. I have nothing. Can I read this? This is a shame. There's a bulletin board and you can't read it. Sir Desade, I presume. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Captain, you set sail soon. Have you seen to our little business? Yes. We were finally able to recover your merchandise. Excellent news. I'm afraid, though, that your mission isn't completely finished, Kurt. Blast me. I'm a captain, not an errand boy. The commander was quite explicit. Very well. What do I need to do? The merchandise that you obtained needs to be sent to Tier 3D as soon as possible. But the Port Authority formalities for shipping take an eternity to wade through. And we've already lost quite a bit of time with this dishonest merchant. Are you blatantly asking us to smuggle this merchandise and contraband? I would never ask you to do such a thing, Your Excellency. Ah, but you don't mind asking that of Kurt? Well, now, uh, if he finds an alternative solution that is less uh, illegal, uh, that would be fine. The method matters not. But this cargo must reach the Isle on the next ship. Marvelous. Well, then, I await your return with utmost impatience. I'm certain you shall do what's required. Um I have a feeling if I don't do this one, I'm going to lose, lose it at one point. Um, I do like the environment, though. I have to admit. That's not what I want. There we go. Lively there, lads and lasses! I promised the merchants and their prince would be off before the tide. You, man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. <laughs> Uh, some children we'd be best to refuse. Captain Vasco. And you are? 
I'm de Sardet, the prince's nephew. If all is in order, we will soon be embarking on your boat. It's a ship. Not a boat. Ooh. Apologies. Apologies for my asking, but the young governor isn't with you. He didn't come home this morning. I need to find him before departure. I hope nothing's happened to him or he hasn't changed his mind. The tide does not wait. <laughs> Perhaps he simply celebrated his imminent departure with a little too much enthusiasm. Is everything ready? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure. Like another I know. I doubt that. Jonas was never one to fancy drink. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. Uh, about the cabin boy. When did you see him for the last time? When did you see your cabin boy for the last time? It's been two days since I've had any news at all. It wasn't out of the ordinary until this morning. My men have free shore leave when we're at dock. But the day of departure, every able-bodied sailor must be present on the ship. Acquaintances in Serene? Does the boy know anyone in Serene? Other than fellow Norts, you mean? I don't think so. But it's difficult to be sure. Who are his close friends? This Jonas, does he have any close friends amongst the crew? In tradition, we are all members of the same family. But yes, there would be Flavio and Laura. Might I have a word with them? As you wish. You'll find them over there, in port. About the heretics. Have you seen anyone wandering about? Suspicious looking. Maybe clandestine passengers. Take a look around. There are far too many comings and goings to spot possible stowaways. As long as they don't try and get on my ship, I pay no attention to them. That said, we did catch ourselves a smuggler just a while ago. A smuggler? Maybe he could be of some use. Where could I find him? In the port jails, not far from the warehouses. Why I ask you, why the sudden interest in smugglers and the odd stowaway? Keep him from saying too much. Nothing to bother yourself about. I'm just curious. You wouldn't, by the sheerest of coincidences, be on the trail of a couple of heretics, Your Excellency. The same a couple of the ambassadors of Teleme's men have been looking for nigh on two days. And so you know about that? Of course. The Cardinal's henchmen are hard to miss, even in a crowd. And they were making quite a fuss, hoping we would cave in and help them in their hunt. Feel free to carry out your own investigation, but you'll end up with the same answers. The port brigs, just like the warehouse, are property of the Norths. No one else may enter. About Constantine's absence. You haven't heard anything about my cousin by chance, have you? To be honest, we were hoping to find him here. Did you say he was intending on celebrating his departure? My men spoke of a rather animated party that went down at the Coin Tavern, but I haven't heard anything else. That isn't the safest place in the city. I hope nothing has happened to him. Let's go and find him. Thank you, Captain. Happy to be of some help. Ask for help on the merchandise. I have a favor to ask before we leave. I'm all ears. We would like to load some merchandise into your ship's hold. Impossible. You're too late for that. All merchandise must be registered at the Port Authority. And the formalities are long. So, unless you're asking me to turn smuggler contraband on my vessel I wouldn't go that far <laughs> we're only talking about a few crates after all well then they'll have to wait the next ship for new serene leaves in a month hellfire if that shipment doesn't leave today the commander will have my hide captain I understand your position but isn't there some way we can get these crates on board I doubt it even if I wanted to help you my quartermaster is a half crazed bridge troll He's gone into his head that a gang of ruffians want to use my ship to pass contraband over to Tir Fridi. He's placed guards where our cargo is being held before being loaded. All that is not in the warehouse and noted on the manifest will be left on the docks. 
Sorry, but your crates are gonna have to wait until the next ship sets sail. <sighs> Sorry, Kurt. At least we tried. But the commander is gonna have my head. I'm sure that's what he wanted in giving me this impossible task. In that case, we're going to have to dock to the manifest ourselves. It must be at the harbor master's office. Ask about the knots. The knots. Could you tell me a little about your guild? We are masters of the oceans. Our ships can sail where no others dare. Thanks to your magic, so I've heard. How do you become a knot? Our magic, yes, uh, that only the Norps master. As for your question, any child born on one of our ships is seaborn. He is a Nort from birth. Others are sea gifted, joining the Norts for different reasons, often from a young age. It's how the guild is made and maintains its numbers. Tia Frodi. Could you tell me anything about our destination, the island of Tia Frodi? It is a magnificent place, wild, spared from your wars and your mines for now. The natives have a relationship with their land and consider it sacred. They were very friendly people, welcoming, that will appear to you strangely familiar. I've also heard that there are a great many exotic creatures, some enormous, but I wouldn't know what else to tell you. I've never strayed far from the ports. And the Port of Serene. What do you think of our port? Are you referring to this one? It is the biggest high seas port on the continent. Thanks to your prince, even though it remains part of your city, it holds a particular status for us Norts. Certain zones are owned completely by us. And maritime lore holds office. It's a good port. Were it not for the Malachor, it would be a pleasant place to dock. Be back soon, Captain. We need to have a word with that people smuggler the sailor mentioned. He's a captain, Kurt, like yourself. And in order to interrogate the smuggler, we'll need to find a way into his jail. Uh, temper of a ship's log, harbor's master's office. Okay, so let's do this first. Somebody can't run any faster. Okay, what did I pick up? That's weird. Zones controlled by other factions. This zone is under the control of another faction than yours. Certain places are forbidden to for you. A costume, torso, of the faction will allow you to trick the guards. You can also try a stealth approach, but if a guard spots you, he will result in a violent response and damage your reputation with this faction. I guess you're not giving me any choice. Do you have any idea how to get in there without being noticed? Let's take a look around the building. We might find a less conspicuous entrance. What? Let me save. Where is the manifest to be found? I've already been to the port authorities. They keep the official documents upstairs. Anything flashing? No. To my help! And death to the others! and sword sure I'm gonna have to drop or sell some shit at one point oh there's a chest here
Ring of Protection. Divine Magic Ring Mental Power 2. Sure. Uh, before we do anything, is there anything to on top? Oh, there's another chest. I knew lockpicking. Hey, Wolfman, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Been a while. Decided to play a game that most people don't like to stream. Um, <laughs> uh, this game had a lot of mixed reviews at the beginning, and I'm still trying to figure out. I'm at the first part. I literally started just today. Um, it's The first part is a little bit iffy. Um, the controls are need to get used to. The cameras need to get used to. Um, yeah, it's it's showing that it's it's um, it's not a triple A title. Um, there's a poli definitely a polish missing here. Um, yeah, it, it's fine. Um, to be honest, I don't even know how the like how this got. Um, Um, the price hasn't really gone down, to be honest. Um, I bought this when it came out, but I never got a chance to play it because I was planning on playing it on stream and I never got a chance. Uh, but it's, I, I looked up the price yesterday and it's still at, well, at least on the Xbox, it's still 60 something dollars. So. If you wore a naught uniform and you were able to keep your mark hidden from them, they might let us in unless we just offered them a drink. These sailors rarely refuse one. I see where this is headed. If we drop a little soporific in their glasses, the way will be clear. I'll just need to find the proper ingredients, but it's doable. Okay. Where the fuck am I going? Interrogate the smuggler about the heretics. Discover where to find Constantine. So, I have no clue where the fuck to go. Discover where to find Constantine. Okay, so it is still in here. So there's something in here. I just don't know what it is. Alright. Maybe I missed something. Or maybe not. Um. Oh, of course. And one thing about this game, you have to be perfectly in the fucking... Right in the, the perfect way to open up a door. Let's see how I can dress this mother tucker. Uh, uh, well, at least I look a little bit better. Can't dress up with that. Uh, yeah, so I'm in the best for the torso. Okay. Hat. Hmm. Whoops. I hate the fucking buttons. I hate it. Uh, Greedfall is not on Game Pass. Well, at least not on the Xbox version, at least. Not that I know of. Um... Uh. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. I did not know that. Okay, cool. Um, that's that. I really like the map. I have to admit, the map is absolutely spectacular. Um, I don't think it is. I think it got it. It got a bad rap. Um, the developer for this particular game, Spider, uh, which notably came out with a bunch of other ones, uh, other games like Techno Romancer and so on and so forth. Um, they usually come come out short. Um, the games are have a great idea. They they seem to be going in the right direction. They really fall short. This game apparently is similar. Um, there's a lot of things that are fleshed out and are really, really cool. But there's other th parts of the game which is really lackluster. And um, like the technical aspect of it. For example, the camera. I mean, it's been perfected for years now. You sh it shouldn't be an issue. And um, as Kenny before, uh, when he was watching the stream, he was leading to one of the final bosses is going to be the cameras. Uh, because it it just zooms in and out and when you're fighting and it could be really really cumbersome um, but you know I, I'm willing to give it a chance and that's one of the reasons why I stream these games way after the fact it's rare that I stream a game unless I really really love the game it's rare that I stream a game right out of the gate um, for example uh, Dragon Age and Dragon Age 2 I haven't played but I want to play them on stream after the fact Either they were good or bad, doesn't matter. I want to play them after the fact. So I have, you know, the the whole idea of being influenced by, you know, the reviews and so on. I don't want to be part of that. Um, and when I give a review of my of the games uh, on the website, I, you know, it's a fresh look on it. It's as if I haven't never played it. So this is similar it's similar it's it's a it's a good it seems to have the elements of a good game i do like the dynam the the dialogue aspect i do like the the story the way i would compare this game is a poor man's version of the witcher 3 versus assassin's creed um and i would say assassin's creed the early assassin's creed not origins or odyssey it's like the early versions of it and the witcher 3 because you're going to be fighting monsters and stuff like that at one point apparently um and I'm willing to just, you know, look at it face value. Now, so far, I'm in the first area, and it's taking me a little bit of time to get used to it. Now, I don't know if this is going to be the full map, but I'm assuming that it will. And I'm just playing it as seeing how, how where it leads me to, to go and, and so on. So I'm really enjoying it um, so far. But if you're looking for... Um, I know a lot of reviews said this, like technical, um, um, technical polish. You're not going to get it. Oh, there's another thing here. Here's the ship's manifest. We only need to add our merchandise to the list. Okay. And sometimes it's really not clear on what you're supposed to be doing. Like, it doesn't tell you that the mission is finished. So you're kind of like, uh, what am I doing? So I guess that's it. Will Kurt say anything new? Green blood. Do you need something? Okay. I must leave you. Okay, if there's no new dialogue, it shouldn't even do anything doing that. But anyways. Hmm. 
I didn't get any clothes. Same. Hello? What can I do for you? We're the relay. You're dismissed. Finally! We were starting to grow moss. Courage, me hearties. The path is clear. We should notify the men. They need all the time they can get. Is there anything else I can grab? Oh, yeah, there's something. I do like the... The... Um, the lore, the how, the look and feel of it, um, I really do like it. Is there anything on top of here? Where the hoot? Oh yeah. Nicked Claymore. Stun? No, okay. Requirements? Long blades. Sure. I like to save a lot in my games, so I apologize in advance. So let's look at uh, Durgate. Okay. So I have to prepare a drink laced with sleeping pills. Yes, um, you, you never know what's going to happen. What have you been playing here recently? I know that you've been playing like a ton of different things. Um, every time I seem to see you stream, you, there's always a new game going on. <clears throat> and you've been uh, streaming quite a lot. Like I, I've noticed that you've been streaming for longer periods of time. Is it because of the quarantine or is it just because you're, you're doing this full time? Okay. I really like the section. Like, this is really cool. Like, I really like that. that I'm a sucker for, like... R like, there's a lot of de attention went to the detail of the environment. But they kind of fell short for some reason. And I don't know why. Yeah, okay. I'm one of the lucky ones that still has... I'm able to work because I can work from... I'm in IT, so I can work from home. Um, but I have been streaming a little bit more. I, I mean, I kind of have no choice. Um, Ah. 
I can't prepare shit. Bile. I love how, how one of the things to make is called bile. Hoof fungus and Enonotus hispididus. Okay. And I also need science level one, which I don't have. So I guess I can't do this section. Which, that sucks. Balls. Alright. So then. Um, well then. I guess we're going to have to do this. Um... Wasn't there somebody around here? Yeah. Who's this guy? Captain, sir, we were given orders to wait here with the merchandise. The way is clear. It's time to get going. Do your best to be quick and quiet about it. You won't have much time to move it. Don't you be worrying now. We're off. The warehouse is at the end to the right there. You can't miss it. Move out. Quick steps. Oh, I didn't have to do that. Okay, great. Talk to the coin guard in the barracks. Okay. Uh, but I still have to talk to the smugglers. Right. see Constantine at your side. I hope he hasn't been the victim of any foul play. Don't worry. We'll find him in time for departure. I certainly hope so. Uh, would you be in need of my help in any way? Ask about his future role on the island. What will be your official title on Tier 3D? Or are you just here to keep an eye on us? Come now. Don't be ridiculous. I'm coming in the capacity of official advisor. Nothing more. But His Highness has also asked me to report to him on certain strategic observations. I am therefore required to take note of all events, uh, chart the island and its resources, but also obtain as much knowledge as possible concerning the more dangerous creatures of the island. Your help will be extremely valuable to me. I've no longer the legs of an adventurer. <laughs> it's always a privilege to help, Master. I need to be leaving. I have quite a few things to do before we raise anchor. Hello, sir. Okay. Where the fuck is the... Talk to the coin god Barax Quartermaster in Userine. Okay. Talk to him later. seen a few escapes in my time but I never thought are you the smuggler you snuck yourself in here just to ask me that question if this is some sort of trick to get me to admit to some crime you are truly twisted you can see for yourself that I'm no Nord come now are you the one I'm looking for I'm already locked up what more do I risk yes I am a smuggler but I'm not the only one in this city I'm searching for a couple fleeing to Leme. They're trying to leave the city discreetly. Have they contacted you? 
You certainly can't imagine I'm going to answer you without getting something in exchange. I don't really think of my clients as kin, but I'd never betray any of them for free. A real saint you are. How about your freedom in exchange for your loyalty? Tell me where I can find them and I'll open this cage. That works for me. Your two telemites are hidden in a warehouse behind this very prison. They must be waiting for me. But you might want to be quick about it. If the Norts get their hands on them, they'll find themselves in this same cage. Thank you. Anytime. And these doors? You're gonna open them, right? Thank you, my lord. And don't worry about me. I'll slip outside without being seen. Thank you, my lord. And don't worry about me. I'll slip outside without being seen. Okay. It's blocked. It's blocked. Go see the heretics in their hideout. I definitely see where they say that the rec review said that there was no polish in this game. Who? Who is there? May the Illuminated save us. Did the smuggler send you? The man to which you are referring was arrested and thrown into prison, but revealed to me your hiding place. Oh, the traitor! Have you come to deliver us to the Inquisition then? Please, please, have pity on our souls. We have committed no crime. We are not heretics. We are nothing more than historians. In that case, why is the ambassador of Teleme so concerned about your teachings? Why is the Inquisition looking for you, and why are you hiding? Our only error was wanting to publish our work. It's true. We presented our research, but it didn't please the censor. And here you have the result. We fled all the way to Serene, thinking we would be safe. But the Inquisition wants to silence us so badly that they followed us here. Their research. Tell me more about your research. What about it is so horrifying that it would provoke such a fuss? Our work concerned the teachings of St. Lucius. The disciple of St. Matthias. The one who returned to Teleme after traveling with his master. The very same. His writing was carefully preserved, but never seriously studied. With the discovery of Tirfredi, we thought it crucial to take a look at the original text. We wanted to verify if this island could have been the faraway place that he spoke of. The Eden of St. Matthias. And? What did you find? Teofredi is without any doubt the land that our St. Matthias and his disciples went to. But the text that we discovered was radically different from what we expected to find. In the original text, St. Lucius doesn't speak of an Eden of the paradise of the illuminated he speaks of a voice that came from the depths of the earth which convinced saint matthias to stay there it was written in black and white and there is no doubt about it the original was written in lucius's own hand i understand now what that text has cost you this voice from the depths sounds more the power of a demon than a saint the sacred texts are always difficult to interpret, but what is written, is written. Their escape plan. Who were you hoping would give you asylum? We were hoping to reach Al Saad. The Inquisition won't chase us into the den of their enemies. Our research won't interest the Bridge Alliance, or at least I doubt it. But at least we'll be safe. By entering Al Saad as clandestines, you risk being taken for spies. That would be better than being burned at the stake. 
The possibility of making an agreement with Teleme. Did you try speaking with the censors? You could forget what you have discovered, perhaps. Oh, we have signed already an abjugation stating that we misunderstood the sacred texts of St. Lucius. We were even ready to say that we had never seen the true text or anything else that would have pleased them. It served no purpose. It's our lives they are after. I see. Well, you have no other choice but to run and seek refuge in enemy territories. I beg of you, please do not deliver us to them. Let us continue on this path. So should I proceed with their arrest, propose to speak to the Bridge Alliance ambassador, and let them be on their way? I would like to make it official and see if I can make any headway. However, I don't have enough charismatic, so I don't know if I'll be able to do it, so I'll probably let them be on their way. It doesn't sit well with me to send you to the flames. I freed your smuggler, and he'll certainly be in touch. He or another member of his band. Be careful and safe travels. Oh, thank you, my lord. You are a man of noble heart. May the illuminated protect you. Thank you for having heard us and helped. You are truly full of kindness. You have a kind heart, Greenblood. It'll be the end of you, but that doesn't bother me. I wouldn't have wanted those poor buggers to end up on a burning pyre. It would seem that I'm not the only one with a tender heart. Good day, Excellency. Sir de Sade, to what do I owe the pleasure? Report the escape of the her heretics. Ask about... Okay, I've already asked about that, so I guess this. It pains me to inform you that the heretics you seek have fled. Curse them! How could that possibly have happened? Uh... Uh, let's lie. Alas, these renegades have found protection with the ambassador of the Bridge Alliance. I would not have been able to capture them without risking a diplomatic incident that my uncle would have condemned. The Bridge. I thought as much. Those heretics have turned to them. But I had hoped that you might intervene quickly enough to stop them. It is truly regrettable. We have nothing else to do but pray that the Luminous might shield us from their lies. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade. Hey, I upgraded. Yay. Alright, so what's left on my mission list? Notify the Talim Ambassador about your departure. Notify the Bridge Alliance Ambassador about your departure. Discover where to find Constantine. A hundred meters that way. Oh, the Princess Place. Oh, I found treasure. And there's nothing else here. All right, well, that's that. Well, this is going to be long.
Completing quests. In Greedfall, a quest can usually be completed in several different ways, as we have seen previously. The Sarde has more than one string to his bow. Cunning, persuasion, intuition, corruption, creating items from a crafting table will be some of the means available to you to reach your goals. To improve in these areas, spend points in the corresponding talent tree or wear equipment that offers bonuses. Threats and combat are also options that your enemies are not receptive to your talents. Okay. Good day, tavern keeper. Good day, Zia. What is your pleasure? Ask him about Constantine. I'm looking for my cousin. His name is Constantine. I believe he was intent on celebrating his departure last night. There was indeed a party here last night, but it ended badly. Whatever do you mean? A brawl broke out. My tavern was shattered, and no one's paid for the damages. I'm sorry. Amongst the rebel rousers, did there happen to be a young man? Twenty years of age. Hair down to his neck, light brown, blue eyes, quite the talker. I don't believe it. Of course he was there. He's the man that started the fight. I hope you've come to reimburse me. Don't count on me to help you if that's not the case. <sighs> what kind of damage are we talking about exactly? A good half of my furniture was broken into firewood. I piled up the lot over there. Let me take a look. Perhaps it can be repaired. If you can fix it, I'll be obliged. If not, you'll need to pay. Here you are, to cover your expenses. Excellent. Honest books makes for honest friendships. <laughs> your cousin is either a very bad joker or a right good fool. He went and insulted a band of ruffians from the lower boroughs. Dangerous fellows. They've a storehouse they operate out of a few streets from here. What kind of business do they run? Several, actually, and they're all illegal and profitable. But you didn't hear that from me. In any case, if you were set on recovering your cousin, I would hurry if I were you. They're not the tender salts. Thank you for the information. Off with ya. Get him out of whatever mess he's got himself into. Seemed like a courageous fellow. Who could down his pint? Anything else? How is business going these days? It's picking up. We've not seen many new customers, but of late, things are looking better. The Malachor and the neighboring wars have dampened commerce. The epidemic still rages, but the possibility of finding a cure on that island has given people something to hope for. Now that we have a city there, quite a few seafarers come by to spend their wages. The Malachor. Has the Malachor really put a damper on your business? <laughs> More than a damper. They were soaked. When the sickness began to spread, a wave of panic followed in its wake. People stopped going out of their homes. They were afraid. I was close to closing shop, I tell you. And then, thankfully, the alchemists of the bridge said that you couldn't just catch it like that. People were still distrustful, as is their nature, but they are leaving home again. It's a start. I also lost quite a few regular customers. Dead or too scared to venture back. Oh, but that's nothing new to you. <laughs> the city would have sunk in the water if not for trade with the new isle. Tear for a day. With all these sailors coming and going, you must have heard some stories about Tear for a day. Right. Even stories that my heaviest drinkers would have trouble believing. They say that man trees live there. Dragons and gigantic creatures. Treasure abounds under every rock. And the source of eternal life is hidden somewhere there. <laughs> Last night, some noughts even told me they brought back one of those giant beasts into the pool. Ah, but you know the kind. If you ask my opinion, the drink was fueling their imaginations. I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye.
I just stole gold coins, yet nobody cares. The furniture is in terrible condition. The fight must have been extremely violent. It looks as if it's fixable. I've seen worse. We'll need to build some metal dowels, but once done, we can make them like new. I could repair this if I had some metal dowels. Well, I can't repair it. Anyways, the mission failed, so what's the fucking point? I paid the guy. He'll fix it himself. Yeah, the environment looks spectacular, but the shadows are really off. Although, the speaking mechanism is better than in Fallout 76. At least the, the voices, you know, they, they follow the... Okay, where do I go from here? Citizens of Serene, come to me. You won't regret this miraculous opportunity. Your time is precious in these dark hours, but what you are about to discover could save you. There are some days life. when you'd rather get drunk all day than have to suffer through this again. Come closer now, good people. Don't be afraid. Come celebrate Can't buy anything. the miracle of science. You won't no, believe apparently your I can't. eyes. This discovery that's, a, that's kind of disappointing. Will give you faith in existence. Oh yeah, it's true. I keep thinking it's like The Witcher where you can read. Your Excellency, Lord de Sade. I have been told that you were named Legate. Congratulations. Those are great responsibilities for someone as young as yourself. But you will bring honor upon your family and the congregation. Of that, I'm certain. I thank you, Excellency. I've come here to inform you of our departure for Tierfredi. My cousin Constantine is about to take up office as governor of New Serene, and I'm accompanying him. I had no idea you would be leaving so quickly. What a shame. I had thought... Well, then, that is a pity. Have a pleasant voyage. A brilliant future awaits you. They say that it is a marvelous island. Please convey to your cousin my congratulations and sincere wishes for success. You seem slightly hesitant. Please, tell me what troubles you. A rather unscrupulous individual has been sowing trouble in Serene. A charlatan passing himself off as an alchemist. Do people actually give credence to these lies? Alas, yes. They snatch up his celebrated panacea. Remedies worse than the ill, believe me. As you can well imagine, alchemists are our pride. This vulgar trickster casts dirt upon their reputation and our own at the same time. In any city of the Bridge Alliance, we would have arrested him. But here, we respect your law. I shall see what I can do, but make no promises. My departure is imminent. I thank you, Excellency. And I am pleased to see you have taken so well to your new functions of diplomacy. The man operates in the city center. He is said to be clever and mean. Be careful. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade. All right.
was looking at the wrong thing before. God damn it. I may actually have to... I may need to get going at one point, um, and I will come back tonight for my Retro Night in Canada stream. Um, Sailor, I've been told that you know the missing cabin boy one. Is that right? You talking about Jonas? You bet your stars I know it. But like I've been crying to the nine death winds, he didn't go missing, he was taken. Ask what he knows. Were you a witness to the event? Yes, I was. Even though I'd had a few tumblers in the belly, I hadn't yet lost my head. The other day, in the tavern, I saw him talking to a well-dressed man, surrounded by some other sly ruffians. And then when we left, him and I, Flavia left a little earlier, you understand? Well, those brutes were there, waiting for him. They just up and took him like that. Grabbed his arms and puffed. Gone. Vanished. Why didn't you intervene? <sighs> I tried to, believe me. But my legs betrayed me. Wavering they were. And I fell into the gutter. Did you report this to the captain? Unfortunately not. I know all too well what weight my words carry. Even Flavia treated me like a drunken fool. And the captain? No. Not telling him that. I still have some pride left. You get me? Ask about the cabin boy's state of mind. Did Jonas seem troubled to you? The night he disappeared? Maybe. For sure he wasn't his usual self. Do you know what was on his mind? No. No idea. Ask the kidnap. Uh, ask, ask about the kidnappers. Why would anyone want to snatch a mere cabin boy? How would I know? Jonas is a gentle boy who keeps his head down. <sighs> you think my story is nothing but mist too, don't you? It's just that I can't imagine a gang of thugs hoping to get a ransom for a cabin boy. Did anyone else see the kidnapping? There was still a small crowd in the tavern. B but outside, I seem to recall that regular being there. We play cards with him from time to time. The kind of fellow who plays from morning to night time to be that skilled. But now and again he comes out. When nature calls, you know. I kind of remember his face being there. What do you think about Captain Vasco? He's a just man who knows his knots. He's well appreciated by the crew. It's a pity that he hasn't much heart for lass now and again. Always seems unhappy, our captain. Thank you, Lara. I need to be going. All right. Smuggler's Journal. I have two clients. They want to go to Al Sa'id Sa'id Al Sa'id and the Inquisitors are on their heels, which will not make their my job any easier. I think I could get them onto a ship inconspicuously, but we will have to be cautious, and I hope that they will prove patient and discreet. I will hide them away in a warehouse behind the harbor office, where the Inquisitors will never dare to enter. 
Good day. Someone told me that you're a friend of Jonas's, the young cabin boy who's gone missing. That's right, yeah. Are you looking for him? Yes. Your captain asked me to go and find him. Happy to hear he's taken the disappearance seriously. What can Those I do tattoos for are insanely like. All right, so let's go. Ask when the last time you saw him. When did you last see him? Two days ago, in the evening. We went to have a drink in the tavern. Jonas, Lauro, and myself. Did anything seem out of the ordinary? Was he troubled? Maybe a tad troubled. Like he was somewhere else. Why would that be? Give me your best guess. Boy, I haven't the faintest idea. Uh, ask about his habitual comings and goings. What does Jonas do in his free time? When you're on land? He just hangs around here or there. You know the cabin boys don't have half a sailor's wages. And when evening comes, we usually go down the tavern with good old Lauro. Did he ever have one too many? Never. He sips his pint like it was bad medicine. One drink lasts him the whole night. What does Jonas do in his free time? When you're on land? He just hangs around here or there. You know the cabin boys don't have half a say. And when evening comes... Did he ever have one too many? Never. I don't like the fact that the, the, the dialogue choices don't disappear. And they actually look exactly the same. Does he know anyone in Serene? No one, as far as I know. Uh, ask if he had any enemies. Do you think he could have made himself any enemies? I wouldn't think that for a moment. Jonas has a good heart and he steers clear of trouble and troublemakers. I don't know where to start with this. Do you have any idea? No. <laughs> Lauro won't stop telling anyone who will lend him an ear that the boy was carried off by thugs. And you don't believe him? I like Lauro, don't get me wrong, he's like a brother. But to be honest, he drinks a little more than he should. The itch for a drink gets us all, but to him more than others. And when you drink too much, the imagination wanders. Here, yesterday, it was me who tied one over, and I thought I heard Jonas's voice by the canal. I call back to him, as you guessed, but then nothing. Drink. It blurs the senses. What do you think about Captain Vasco? He's a damn good navigator, and an excellent leader of men. He knows his craft well, in spite of being so young. How old is he? He's not seen his 25th year yet. If he keeps it up, he'll be an admiral one day. I need to be going. Farewell. Strange story, this is. Something isn't right here, I can feel it. We need to lift the veil on this. Okay. Tavern keeper. I oh, see so you're back. Can I pour you something this time? Uh, about the cabin boy missing. Ask him about the kidnapping. I'm looking for a nought. A young cabin boy who's been missing roll call for two days now. A nought, you say? That's not a lot to go on. There are quite a few that come to my tavern. According to one of his fellows, he would have been taken right here. A kidnapping. In my establishment. You surely jest. At least I hope you do. I would have noticed. That doesn't hold water. Speak about the eventual witness. Someone told me about one of your faithful clients. A big gambler, it would seem. I see. An able-bodied man. Passes his time lightening the pouches of sailors coming through. Where might I find him at this time? Here. He would never give away his chair at his table. Anything else? Okay, I already asked about that. I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. Who are you? I don't recognize you. 
Am I in your debt? No. I have no fear about that. It's for a different reason that I am here. Those eyes. I'm looking for a nought that disappeared two days ago after visiting this establishment. A young cabin boy. Two members of his crew accompanied him. Yes, that does ring a bell. I've played with the three of them. What can you tell me about the boy? How was he that night? He seemed rather nervous, as if he was worried about something. Didn't feel like playing, that I remember. And he must have been right to be nervous, if he's disappeared. What happened during the evening? Tell me what happened that evening. A rich merchant came in, with a band of strong arms. The kind of men you can round up for a few coins, if you catch my drift. They exchanged words with the cabin boy. The kid was defensive, not sitting pretty. And then they finally left. And after that? It just so happens that I did go out for a breather. I needed some fresh air. And I think I might well have seen those same men grab him. But that was none of my business. I wouldn't have thought that they were kidnapping him, if that's what it was. They weren't particularly rough with him. Ask for more information on the rich man. Who was the rich merchant, do you think? A jilted lover? A moneylender? No, sir. You are in luck. It so happens that I know the man. It was Sir Fontaine, that merchant. Where can I find him? He has a house in the wealthy boroughs, just off the canal. A stone's throw from the Tulema embassy. Thank you. You've been immensely helpful. This man is completely owned by his love for the game. Do you think we can trust him? What would he gain from lying? I have no idea. But what would any wealthy merchant gain from holding a penniless child? Poorly written notice to the family of the rich man who provoked us. We have him and we will kill him if you don't pay us handsomely. Come with a full purse to the alley south of the old warehouse district. Hmm. Oh. Is that where I killed one of the guys? Yeah. On the road again, I'm running on the road again. Do 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 do. I don't know if there's any way of running any faster, but um, it doesn't seem that you can. Uh, is there anything here? No. Uh. Might I help you, sir? I would like to have a word with Sir Fontaine. He is absent, but the lady of the house could certainly receive you. Enter, please. Are you just going to stare at the wall? Because that kind of sucks. That really sucks, actually. <laughs> Well, there goes for amazing AI. Oh, I know you. I've seen you at court. You are Lord de Sade. And to what do I owe the honor of your visit, Excellency? I would like to have a word with your husband. He is not here. But perhaps I could be of help. It concerns a delicate matter. We're looking for a missing cabin boy. According to witnesses, he had an argument with your husband before being taken. I see. I am afraid that you have been misled. You seem to have come to the wrong conclusion. The cabin boy you speak of was not taken. He has simply returned home. Excuse me. 
but I'm not sure I understand. Don't you see, Your Excellency? We got our son back. I am very surprised. Several witnesses confirmed that your son had a fight with your husband, and that his men escorted him from the tavern using force. If he had joined your husband willingly... Witnesses? In a tavern? And you choose to believe these drunkards over a respectable family? These witnesses are all in agreement, and it's their testimonies that have led me to your doorstep. My son was probably shocked to have found us. My husband and the other men might have simply had to carry him. A gesture that your drunkards must have misunderstood. Ask why the Knots would have taken their son. What was your son doing on a Nought ship? Why would they have taken him? It is what they do. Through pacts and contracts, they steal away young children from their mothers. What are you talking about? I would have thought that a legate would know these things. But it is true that you are young and inexperienced. It seems that you have been protected from the turpitudes of our own nation and their terrible allies. This horrible, constant ransoming that they put us through. But I will not say another word. You will have no trouble verifying the details now that you know what to look for. Where might I find your son now? I cannot say, Excellency. You must understand why. Until the Norts have set sail, we live in fear they will take him back from us. This pact? It sounds like some fear-inducing story. The Norts wouldn't be the first to recruit through dubious means. Excuse me, madam, but I haven't quite finished my inquiry yet. If you would be so courteous, I would like you to leave. I have told you... With respect, my lady. All right. That's cool to not. Oh, come on. Well, at least I found a chest. I like to go on a morning jog, it makes me healthy. Greetings. I hope your day will be better than mine. So, you still haven't found your cousin? As you well know, we cannot leave without him. Have no fear. I will bring him back in time to make our scheduled departure. Is everything ready? I'm still without news of my cabin boy. But we will have to do without. I spoke with a woman who told me she was the mother of the cabin boy. She claims that her son was taken from her. Taken? Her son is sea gifted. His parents were required to give him up, to honor the terms of a contract. A contract? But what kind of contract are we speaking of? A commercial contract. In exchange for services rendered by the Norts, some families seed more than gold. In some cases, nations even trade some of their subjects before they're born. I wouldn't be able to tell you the condition of Jonas's contract. I didn't even know he was originally from Serene. But what I can tell you is the young man hasn't seen his parents since he was a small child. And ever since, he's been a naught. Our ships are his home. We are his only family. Be back soon, Captain. You see anyone else who might be able to help us? Anyone who's not a naught? 
Sir de Corsillon's a veritable well of scientific knowledge. He could tell us a little more. All right. But I still don't see Constantine at your side. I hope he hasn't been the victim of any foul play. Don't worry. We'll find him in time for departure. I certainly hope so. I've had a word with Lady Fontaine. You must know her. That rich family that lives near the docks. She told me a strange story about her son who was a cabin boy on our ship. She said that he was taken when he was a child due to some contract with the Lords. Who was a cabin boy? Do you mean he's no longer one? They took him back to bring him home. Well, that is very unpleasant news to Sade. We need to do all we can to bring the boy back to his ship. Since time immemorial, there has always been a certain price to pay for the services of the Nords. Children born on their ships belong to them. It's the rule of the sea. But certain contracts are so important that they also require children to be offered in exchange. From time to time, the congregation has passed such accord, and certain noble families had to give their children up. Are you telling me that the Fontaines lost their son because of some agreement signed between my uncle and the Nords? Um, no. That pact ended a long time ago. This cabin boy couldn't have been a part of that contract. But Sir Fontaine has made a fortune trading with the Alliance, uh, via ships. Do you mean he would have offered up his own son in exchange for wealth? Well, he probably did it before the birth of the child, and regretted it afterwards. But that is of little importance. What counts most is that you bring the boy back to the Norts as quickly as possible. Breaking a contract with the seafarers has always cost us dearly. Our nation could feel it in its coffers. I will do my best. A father selling his own son for a few boat rides. For ugly, that is ugly. Lady Fontaine didn't seem to have any knowledge of that detail. That could be of use to us. All right, let's go back and... I should have taken a left turn at Albuquerque. Note to attention of the servant. Alice, I would like you to prepare several meals and bring them to the warehouse we own on the canal. My husband will have to work there with his clerk and his men for a few days, so make sure that there is enough food for everyone. And be discreet. We do not want other families to know about what is happening. This document mentions another property. A warehouse. That would be a great place to hide. Shall we take a peek? Sure. All right. Of course, I went to the dead end. God damn it. At least I'm finding some uh, loot. More and more loot. I'm getting used to it. Come closer now. Good people. Don't be afraid. Come celebrate the beauty. 
Citizens, I present to you Panacea, the absolute cure of everything. Toothache, stomach ailment, and even an open wound. This potion heals all of that. And more still, this little file is the product of years of research and intensive labor. I hear you asking if this remedy can heal one from the Malachor. Alas, not yet. But your question is legitimate. I am so close to finding the cure. But the Malachor isn't the only ailment causing you to suffer. Not true? Then don't miss out on this chance and give yourself a healthy and energized life. Rejoice! A file only costs a few coins and well worth it to make your life shiny and new again. Does it really heal everything, your potion? Everything. Absolutely everything. Except the Malachor, of course. That being said, it is known that those in top health resist the Malachor best of all. Then don't throw away this chance. Think of all the pains that this potion could help you avoid. You are right. It's a deal. I'm gonna take two. There's a man that knows a good deal when he sees one. Hurry now. There won't be enough for everyone. There he is. He's our man, no doubt. His speech is well polished. I even feel like buying some. And if we had a word with him? I wonder if it... Ah, you're finally tempted. In all honesty, I haven't made up my mind yet. I want to be certain that I'm not dealing with a charlatan. In this day and age, I can't blame you. What might I do to convince you? About the nasty side effects. Are there any nasty side effects with this remedy of yours? There are none. You will feel nothing but an intense sense of well-being. As for a demonstration. Will you drink one of your potions to prove your good faith? Of course. I take a little sip every morning. But as I am in perfect health, you won't be able to verify the improvement in my condition. But if it helps you make up your mind, give me just a moment. There now. As you see, I am still in excellent condition. Come on now, I saw you take that vial out of your pocket. Nothing proves that it's the same potion that you sell to your clients. As a man of science, I consider skepticism a remarkable quality. But in your case, it is not skepticism, but blindness. We need to steal one of these potions and force him to drink it. Brilliant idea, Kurt. Let's take a look at his cart. finally made up your mind. I will think about it. As you wish. But don't wait long. It won't last forever. Oh, Have come on. That's not what I wanted mind. to do. God damn it. I will think about it. As you wish. But don't As wait you long. wish, my guy Beaton. It won't last forever. Hello, Your Excellency. It is an honor. I should go to the dispensary. I've not seen my brother in two days. Perhaps he went there. Anyways, I have to go. Um, I'm gonna go and save the boy first before I do anything. However, on that note, I will be cutting it short for now. Um, I have been streaming for two and a half hours. And, um, yeah. I just want to see if I could load back to the same spot. Oh, that's a nice uh, backsplash loading screen. I have to admit. Oh, no problem. It's my pleasure. Um, tonight, I'm probably going to be streaming again. As I mentioned before, I'm going to be streaming 
uh, Duke Nukem 3D, um, the 20th anniversary edition, the fifth episode, which is a special episode that's only released with that anniversary edition. And uh, why is am I here? Oh yeah, okay, that's where I see. Okay, perfect. Um, I wanted to stream something that's a little bit different for my retro night in Canada stream, um, only because um, I've missed a few a, a few of those streams, and also I wanted to. Um, I've been wanting to stream it for a while, and I didn't see many people streaming that fifth episode. Um, I, I've seen people uh, stream the regular game, the first four episodes, the Manhattan Project. Um, you know, and, and everything else, but it's rare that you see that that extra fifth one. <sighs> so, um, yeah, so I'm going to be streaming that roughly around 7 o'clock Eastern time. If you guys want to stream, uh, that's uh, if you guys want to pass by the stream, it's entirely up to you. Uh, my last few reviews on aroundtable.ca uh, was um, Rise Son of Rome is my last review. I forgot to put it on my Nightbot. Um, and my previous gaming review was Doom Eternal. Um, I finished it. Difficult game. That's a really, really good game as well. Uh, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I really also enjoyed um, Spencer Confidential. Uh, it's a review that my brother wrote. Um, so like that. If you like the, the content on aroundtable.ca, uh, we do have a newsletter that gets published every two weeks. Um, and also we are on, on Twitter. Um, a round table, uh, A R R O N D O O, sorry, A R R O U N D T A B L E, a round table, two R's. Uh, we're on Instagram as a, at a round dot table, we're on Facebook at a round table dot CA. Uh, also for Corporate Gamer, I am, I am on Twitter at Corporate Gamer 9, I'm on uh, Instagram and Facebook as Corporate Gamer, and I also have a YouTube channel. If you search for Corporate Gamer, um, you'll fo probably find me there. It's basically uh, my footage from Twitch. Uh, you'll find uh, my Twitch streams, my Twitch casts, um, podcast slash podcast uh, on that channel. Um, I've been doing this for about five years now, um, and I enjoy doing it. I know I don't have a lot of fanfare per se. I don't have a lot of followers. I don't have a lot of, you know, but I enjoy doing it. It's fun and keeps me out of trouble and uh, keeps me sane these times. <laughs> so uh, I really, really appreciate you guys passing by. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you, Wolfman. Uh, Wolfman Dan for passing by. Uh, really, really appreciate your uh, your support. Um, I know I haven't passed by your stream, Wolfman, in a while. Um, it just seems we never coincide when we go live, but I will try to make it as much as I can. Um, yeah, so hope to see you guys tonight, and I will see you next time. All right, guys. Ciao.